William Blackstone is the most cited legal scholar in the writings of America's founding fathers. He was a British jurist who wrote a four-volume work entitled Commentaries on the Laws of England. His commentaries are the bedrock of American jurisprudence. Blackstone referred to God's law as, quote unquote, those superior laws, and stated that, quote, upon these two foundations, the law of nature and the law of revelation, depend all human laws. That is to say, no human laws should be suffered to contradict these. We can be sure that when Blackstone spoke of those superior laws, which no human laws should be suffered to contradict, that he was speaking of God's law as revealed in the Bible, as he went on to write. It is binding over all the globe, in all countries, and at all times. No human laws are of any validity if contrary to this, and such of them as are valid derive all their force and all their authority immediately or immediately from this original. The doctrines thus delivered we call the revealed or divine law, and they are found only in the Holy Scriptures. James Wilson was a signer of the Declaration of Independence and one of the original justices appointed by George Washington. Like Blackstone, he said this about law. As promulgated by reason and the moral sense, it has been called natural. As promulgated by the Holy Scriptures, it has been called revealed law. As addressed to men, it has been denominated the law of nature. As addressed to political societies, it has been denominated the law of nations. But it should always be remembered that this law, whether natural or revealed, made for men or for nations, flows from the same divine source. It is the law of God. Wilson went on to say, human law must rest its authority ultimately upon the authority of that law, which is divine. The law of God is the objective standard so that men know when governments are making immoral or unjust law. The resistance of the lesser magistrates is not subjective. They are only to defy the higher authority when they openly impugn or contravene the law of God, or when they attack the person, property, or liberty of someone under their jurisdiction, or when the higher authority makes law contrary to the Constitution. Those are the three times when they are to resist the higher authority. To learn more about the doctrine of the lesser magistrates, go to lessermagistrate.com.